Around Love Love Sick Duo Duo. Benvenuti, bentornati, ben rivisti Prima domenica di settembre o seconda Paolo? Non importa, settembre La seconda, la seconda We're back, we're back and we do have a crazy amazing guest This is Scott Moverhill Moverhill, all right, I'm learning, I'm I'm really your last name It's Irish, it's very Irish, so it's it's a weird last name Ah. (laughs) Dice che è irlandese, quindi è un cognome un po' strano Allora Scott Moverhill Oggi viene da Firenze, ma in verità viene da più lontano. Poi vi raccontiamo. Intanto condividete la diretta, se volete, se vi piace, se volete condividere. E intanto facciamo partire la sigla. All right, uh, Scott, my man, how are you doing? I'm great, man. I'm, I'm enjoying Italy. This is a surprise vacation. <laughs> is this the first time for you? See. Si. There you go. Ha detto che è la prima volta per lui in Italia e si sta divertendo, è arrivato. Prima volta, quindi ciao, sì e ciao. No, bene, male. No, bene, male, buonasera. Buonasera. I'm, I'm saying all the vocabulary you have. Right, this, right, that's pretty much the list, right? There. right. Well, capito? No capi- capito. Capi- no capito. <laughs> <laughs> si dice che più o meno ha questi vocaboli qui, vabbè, ma è comunque... Is it the first time, right? So... Yeah, so, yeah. So, oh, yeah. è la prima volta, quindi ci può stare. Yeah, there's a wide open road. <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> lots to learn. It's good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, for people that don't know you, um, I think the best start it would be with a song. Si. I really think. And uh, it will be so amazing to... Uh, it's, we're very glad to have you here. Oh, yeah. glad and, to be uh, here. Thank you, yeah. guys. Dicevo che per chi non lo conoscesse sarebbe forse il modo migliore per conoscerlo è con un brano. E siamo molto contenti di averlo qui. Uh, perché dovete sapere che è un contrabassista, cantante, songwriter. Quindi autore, cantautore super bravo. What's the first song you want to play? Well, I'm, first I'm going to tune in my people. So I'm... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it, please. See. Please. See. Uh, okay. And it's... Published. There it is. Oh, All right. So, uh, so the first song I'll play is um, th- the first song on this an album I released about a year ago, um, which I know you know, uh, Ed, uh, because of the little yeah, contest. Con- uh, yeah, and so um, uh, this is called Begin Againers. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, quindi suonerà il primo pezzo dell'ultimo album che è uscito, e lo conosco, poi vi spiego perché conosco questo pezzo, e... È tutto quanto, vi svegliamo un po' i segreti. Si chiama Beginner o Begin Again? Begin Again. Begin Again. It's, it's actually not even a word in English. I made it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Dice che non è una parola in inglese, <laughs> l'ha inventata lui. <laughs> All right. Nothing like a blank page. I 
make a full tank in an open road. Cause every destination is between somewhere and somewhere else in this great nation, and it's your world. It's a good thing for a traveler, a good thing for a traveler like cash in the bank. Tank. Sometimes I get caught up where I never meant to be. It's the curse I'm being free. The curse I'm being free. But baby, it's a good day for the travelers and the sinners. All the would be winners. The everyday begin again. <laughs> Vabbè, inizia così il disco. Wow. So the, the album start like that, you know? So yeah. what's what's the the rest? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That song one um you know the, the album has like a lot of uh there's a mix of songs that are just solo like that. And and on the record there's a couple other voices. Like I I layered some some of my vo my own voice a couple times uh -huh. just to add a little bit, but But it's largely so. Is it still you in the record doing the other backing vocals? Yes, yeah, it is. Right. Um, and so, um, so the the concept of this album was actually to um, try to do as much with this in, just the bass as possible. And 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 I, I consider myself a songwriter primarily. So it's like I'll do songs on guitar, and I you know I'm to me it's the writing, the melody, lyric, and and then bass is my main instrument. And so it's. It's fun for me to to put the songs here, but it's not necessarily and find a way to find a way, yeah, yeah, and to kind of invent a way to like how does it work solo? And so, so part of the whole concept was um, keeping it very sparse, you know, uh -huh. and like in in that way, like I actually just started on some new music um, uh, like two weeks ago. Uh, got in the studio and doing some recording, and um, oh yeah, and it's very. I'm really really excited, and it uses the bass, but there's also some other elements, and it's. So the point isn't just to be alone, but the part of the idea of this album, which is almost a year old now, it came out um, September last year, um, um, is was to make a statement of here's what I can do with mm -hmm. just the voice and the bass, and so. Um, okay, we tra we translate a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But because we understand everything. But right. <laughs> <laughs> Praticamente diceva che. Um, aspetta, come era l'inizio? <laughs> Dice che. Questa canzone, il primo, il primo pezzo, questa ah, che sì, ha sì, suonato... Le, le, le voci erano no, sempre le no, sue. No, pri no, prima diceva che questa è la prima canzone e la maggior parte del disco è fatto da voce e basso. Sì, ha detto che la prima cosa era che praticamente i cori del primo brano sono i suoi, che ha sovrainciso nel disco e da lì si è collegato al fatto di dire che questo album per lui è l'idea, il concetto, il filo conduttore, è un po' che eh, fare funzionare dei brani che ha scritto, perché lui si considera un cantautore che suona la chitarra, canta e suona il contrabbasso, e visto che il contrabbasso è il suo primo strumento, l'affermazione diciamo, di questo album è proprio di riuscire a dire questo è quello che, che, che faccio io, che fare e cercare di far funzionare i brani, no? cercando di farlo un po', poi in un modo sparso per tutti i pezzi del disco, di riuscire a farli funzionare, girare, contrabbasso e voce. Esatto, e poi diceva appunto che ormai questo disco è uscito un, un anno fa. fa e adesso è molto emozionato perché sta registrando un nuovo disco anche col basso e con altri 
elementi, quindi altri musicisti, perciò insomma adesso ci faremo raccontare perché l'abbiamo interrotta a metà per produrre... Yeah, 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 exactly. Perfetto. Perfetto. <laughs> yeah. so, I couldn't do better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really couldn't. I really couldn't. So you, you told us that you are excited for the new album? Yeah, I yeah. just started recording. Um, so it's... So... Um, I'm still playing these the song so the album I'm playing now is called Himalayas the, like the, this song and so but I just started another one in the studio so it'll be a little time before it's out but um but uh I'm I can't wait the the direction is really cool I'll I'll um i can't, we can't do it on air, but I'll show you guys later if okay, you want to hear great. it. Yeah, yeah. So, dice che è molto emozionato per questo nuovo disco che sta registrando. Ancora non si può fare niente dal vivo, però sta venendo davvero bene. E magari noi dopo nel backstage sapremo qualcosa. E uh, adesso gli faccio una domanda su quest'album, su uh -huh. Himalayas, che abbiamo visto che eh, l'ha lanciato praticamente, l'ha prodotto, l'ha... È nato... Mm, una volta appunto registrato tutto quanto attraverso una campagna che è un Kickstarter, no? come da noi si fa Music Razer. Quindi in pratica eh, è riuscito a, a guadagnare attraverso le donazioni di fans, persone, insomma, più di quello che lui aveva messo come obiettivo no? per produrre questo disco. Aveva messo un buon obiettivo. E aveva messo un un tipo un obiettivo di 20 mila dollari. 20.000 20 20 oh, eh, yes, dollari was, quindi was, abbiamo uh, visto una diretta su Instagram amazing. dove spiegava adesso glielo facciamo Way dire so we saw uh, a, a video in which you talk with the, with the public about uh, the yeah. surprise that you found people that loves you so much that yeah. give you in 24 hours a lot of money oh, yeah, yeah we saw that that was like, awesome it was yeah. crazy it was so crazy. Can, can you tell us can you tell the yeah, Italian yeah well Um, what I've found, and, and maybe I shouldn't be surprised anymore, is just that um, people are generous and people want to help. And, and, you know, and, and so it's like, it's like today, like you all picked me up from the train station and invited <laughs> me into your home, you know, and, and there's not um, people all around the world. They if you give people an opportunity to help they'll a lot of them do. And it's and so it's, true. it's hum like it's humbling. You have to ask but then if you ask with with humility and with like trusting their generosity but also i would only ask for something that i believe in you know like like yeah, here's yeah, my sure, music sure. you know like and and so i've i've put my work and time into it and i think it's worthwhile so i don't i'm i feel good about asking it's not it's not just ask it's but it's i have something to offer mm -hmm. and if you want to help it's it um i was It makes you believe in humanity, you know. <laughs> it's yeah, like, totally. It's like, uh, <laughs> where you're like, people actually care about each other and want to help, and 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 it takes a little village, but of you know, to make something like that happen. But it's a it's a big world, so enough people will fall in love with it, and it and it works. You know, yeah, uh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful experience. So, diceva che quindi diceva che è una bellissima esperienza questa cosa di Kickstarter perché che è una crowdfunding, no? Una raccolta fondi per un progetto che uno ha. E, e alle persone dice piace aiutare è bello, bello sostenere i progetti degli altri e, mh, dipende anche sempre cosa chiedi e come lo chiedi però dice si ritrova in una situazione di grande umiltà perché praticamente chiede per un progetto che effettivamente fa, prosegue dove ha messo tanto impegno quindi non è che si sente male tra virgolette a chiedere per un aiuto e, e, e la stessa cosa succede un po' dall'altra parte dove le persone diciamo godono a dare un aiuto no? e quindi è un po' come oggi che, che siamo andati a prendere la stazione, è, tutto... <ride> è nata così la storia, eh, siccome seguiamo un po' i social eccetera, io eh, seguivo Scott su Instagram e ho visto che, grazie, ho visto che era in Italia, pensavo facesse dei concerti in Italia, eh, però poi guardando sul sito non c'erano, allora gli ho scritto e mi ha risposto perché poi c'è anche la risposta dall'altra parte e mi ha detto, no, sono in Italia per vacanza. Ho detto, ma sei a Firenze, uh, a Siena, insomma, se passi per Bologna, eh, ma facciamo un giro, no? ti, ti facciamo vedere Bologna, insomma. E poi è venuta fuori anche questa idea dell'intervista. 
e quindi è successo così e siamo qua yeah she was saying how the things you know went that she texts you because she saw that you were here yeah. uh, and, 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 and yeah. you explain later we pick you up at the station yeah. <laughs> and that's it the whole story. well and if you were in Nashville I'd pick you up you know right. that's better because Nashville is bigger than right. Bologna musician <laughs> friendly friendly ha detto che se fossi stato a Nashville mi avrebbe preso su anche lui ha detto sarebbe meglio perché Nashville è molto più grande di Bologna no from the station to ah, the okay, center okay. sure yeah what about another song let's do it all okay. right yeah um this is uh are you guys ready <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four. Um, um, our engineer yeah exactly did you yeah. see that, that that part uh did you ever see tommy emmanuel live i've never se- i met i've seen him play a song or two i haven't seen i'm concert. saying this because it's yeah. very funny he does like this um with a brush with a brush yeah in there. so he's doing this uh, and, and the bass uh, yeah so at a certain point it seems that there's like the, the, the bass player and the drummer playing yeah. so he's like take it <laughs> <laughs> so, but he said yeah, he, he did yeah. that. He does that like very, very so normal. Right, right, everybody, right, right. it's yeah. perfect. Dice che Tommy Emanuel praticamente suona con questa con la spazzola sulla chitarra e fa i bassi con la mano sinistra. E arriva un momento che si gira come se ci fosse un solista di essere. Vai, fai un giro, ti mi distrugge. <laughs> Mai da solo. Uh, facciamo questa gag. That's funny. Sorry. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Um, uh, i don't have a brush, but I, I, I'll play. Uh, <laughs> I have it. Uh, I have yeah, it. Ch- 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 yeah. Um, this is uh, this song. So I started writing songs on the bass uh-huh. uh, five years ago, maybe. And, and um, I was writing before that and playing, but I put them together. And this Ho iniziato a scrivere canzoni sul basso circa cinque anni fa. Prima scrivevo ancora, ma poi le ho messe insieme. Yeah, and, and this is the first one. Questa è la prima che ho scritto yeah. quando si è messo proprio col contra yeah. a scrivere. Yeah. All right.
tell you what my heart breaks for Wasted love that I'll see no more Smoke crawls back, I lift my eyes All this time I was fighting, fighting, fighting for the wrong side Fighting for the wrong side Oh yeah, Ooh. man. Ooh. Beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. There's a lot of comments. Uh, Giovanni Stefanini, the uh, mandolin player, said, play bass and sing at the same time. I'm not even able to walk and chew a gum at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably Ste better at this than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Giovanni che Suonare il basso e cantare allo stesso tempo, lui non è neanche capace di camminare e mangiare una gomma. <laughs> E Scott dice: Potrei essere. Sono più bravo a fare a basso che a, fare, yeah. a, a mischiare altre cose. E Janice Carlson Scott. What's it? Janice Carl Carlson Scott. Ok. Ok. It does a great re rendition of James Taylor. How oh. sweet it is. Oh, that's a cover that you, you made it, right? Yes, yes. E uh, Sherry Taylor, very nice. Scott is awesome. Je Jason. Sh Swisher? Sorry. Okay. Jason Swisher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's well, a lot of people. Well, what's up, guys? That's, I think I, I recognize Janice's name uh, maybe from my Facebook. Yeah, sure. So. What's up, Janice? What's up, Jason? Thanks That's for tuning in. And, um, and uh, yeah, so you want to Go ahead. Um, I, would, I was listening to you playing, and I was uh, shocked by the dynamic that you have with the voice and the bass oh thank you oh that's great and uh, i think it's not so easy you know sure uh, dico che sentendolo suonare sono sta rimasta impressa dalle, dalle dinamiche sia della voce che del basso assieme perché comunque si sì, cantare e suonare assieme non è semplice ma quando lo fai e crei un'atmosfera con le dinamiche è davvero una cosa unica e, um, super yeah well in, in You know, you have to, especially when you just have the, the two elements, like they both have to have a range. And I think the, it's one thing to, like, like the voice is loud, or it depends on how you sing, but the voice can easily be loud because it's just like a, it's like a trumpet or something. You know, like you have the, we naturally have the power to project, mm -hmm. but the bass, it only gets so loud. You know, like it's, it's, You know, it's not it's not so, a very loud instrument, so it's like you have to be quiet so that when you want it appears loud, you know, it, by comparison. But, uh, che la voce è più tipo la tromba, no? Quindi puoi essere uh, puoi avere volume facilmente in un certo senso, ma il basso comunque arriva fino lì e quindi devi riuscire a creare spazio per far sì che così quando suoni il basso ci sono dei momenti che sembra più forte e quindi insomma creare un po' di spazio alla fine, dare dinamica yeah. a questa cosa qua. And so Did you work in studio to um, make your voice better with the dynamic in in a studio outside your house only in your in, in What in do you want to say? Nel tuo studio in your own okay. studio? Oh yeah. Uh, for the voice? Yeah, for mm. recording everything, you know, the pre-production of your yeah, song. Yeah. You know, the the best place that i developed and got better was on stage live so so before i um i would say especially with the voice being around other singers um and i i mean i'm an okay singer like i feel like i like i i can sing what i need to but i'm not the best singer in the world and i know that but it's like um there's um But I grew a lot having to be on stage with great singers. That So I, I played in Ricky Skaggs' band for five years, which is, for people watching who might not know him, he's a mandolin genius and um, bluegrass and country music icon. And so he is an, uh, he's an unbelievable singer, and his band are amazing singers. So mm -hmm. I, was, I was in the group for five years, and I would sing every night. Um, 
um, this song called 2020 Vision, which actually I put on my album as well. And, and I think the, the, the best thing that happened for my voice was having to sing that song night after night in front of them because it was like, yeah. you're all on stage <laughs> and you can't be bad. Like, it's like you have to deliver. And, and doing the same song over and over, even if that sounds... You practice. You practice. And so you get, I think one thing that people, in myself, I've made the mistake of thinking like, oh, you're either amazing and you can sing anything or you're not good. You know, it's like, oh, yeah. but it's, but it's not that clear. It's like, it's, you have to practice it like an instrument. So you might be good at one song on the guitar. Same with the voice. Like, um, the, if you learn this song and get really good at that song, it makes you stronger in, uh, for that song it makes you a little stronger in general and then the more you learn the better you get you know it's 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 not a it's not a like yes or no thing it's it's um um it, bit by bit you just yes. you grow step with by it step. yeah quindi lei chiedeva uh, diceva se mh, lui era per, per, per la voce come era migliorato se si registrava o in studio comunque aveva capito delle cose e lui diceva in realtà è stato successo molto dal vivo no? cantando dal vivo ha suonato un, un, abbastanza anni con, con la band di Ricky Skaggs 5 anni. anni che è un mandolinista anche chitarrista veramente forte essenziale anche del panorama bluegrass e, e cantava questa canzone tutte le, tutti i concerti si chiama 2020 Vision, Vision yeah. right? Yeah. E, 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 e quello era un grande test perché comunque suonare con questi mostri sacri che, che, e cantare sto brano eh, ti fa rendere conto di, delle sfumature, delle cose dal vivo poi davanti a, al sì, pubblico non, non ti dovevi tirare indietro cioè, esatto. dovevi arrivare perché c'è anche un video dove la canta e vedi che proprio parte lui col basso e la voce e, e gli altri aspettano ah, sì. quindi comunque quel pezzo lì lui lo doveva cantare per forza e non puoi fare tanto finta no. e quindi dice, <ride> dice anche che c'è questa cosa che a volte la gente eh, i musicisti mh, che cantano magari non, non, uh, non hanno fiducia in se stessi o non, o non ci credono del tutto perché è come se vedessero le persone o vedessero se stessi spacco a cantare sono bravissimo quello che faccio viene da Dio oppure faccio schifo no? o magari diventi bravo a fare una canzone con la chitarra a cantarla e poi dopo boh, il resto non si sa sei un po' lì nel limbo e invece dice è veramente come uno strumento bisogna farlo 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 mille volte e acquistare quella sicurezza che, che arriva a un certo punto non è che uno impara un brano deve imparare tantissimi eccetera e poi dopo e lui dice che l'ha imparato arriva. sul palco quindi, quindi buttarsi palco. buttarsi e sì, infatti è anche vero che a casa a volte no, magari ti metti lì canti e non, so, fai mezza canzone poi non la fai tutta o che ne so fai un pezzo però invece quando sei sul palco la fai con le parole a sono... metà esatto I was, I was adding like It's special that when you're by yourself at home and you're like singing, right? Sometimes you just sing half of the songs, sometimes you just sing like a couple of times the chorus. Yeah. But like when you're on stage, you, you have, have to, to play do the whole it. The, song. the whole the thing. The whole thing. Yeah. The whole thing. And, and, deal. Yeah, yeah, and like actually perform it. Yeah. When you're home, you're starting, you're right. thinking, ah, oh, maybe right. that thing, that part, yeah. that note. But like it's different. It's totally different. It's and, different. And yeah. yeah, there's no, I don't think there's any replacement for being on stage. It is the, it's, yeah. And, and at this point, having been in that band for five years, and then I was playing before that, and of course. And since You're still then, playing with them, right? No. Oh, no, no, no. I left uh, about two years ago. Two years um, ago. You know, it's been two years ago, I was listening to Rick Skaggs. Yeah, and, uh, and, you know, it's like, at some point I became comfortable, but that was only after being on stage for thousands, thousands of times. You know, okay. like, it was like, you know, and so now, now I walk on stage and it's like, It's almost relaxing because yeah, I know, I know it's you're. like I'm this is my zone and yeah. so totally. it's, but it's uh, it took a long time to get there. Yeah. Yeah. Diceva sì, 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 in realtà quel comfort di stare sul, sul palco con, con, con calma, con rilassatezza di questo è il mio posto perché lo sento veramente, ci sono voluti migliaia di concerti, anche, soprattutto per quello che sta raccontando adesso di Ricky Skaggs perché ne hanno fatti parecchi. <laughs> 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 All right. What's next? What you want to hear? Mm. I'm in the mood for a rock tune. No. Rock tune? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play? <laughs> uh, uh, we could play. Uh, I could play 2020 Vision. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Talking about it. Yes. Why not? Why you want to do that? Uh, You're in the mood for it. I don't know if you want to. If you arrive at the end. 
<laughs> like you know if you start it and right. you say that you have to go you can play half song if you want <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll start it and forget some words okay. yeah. Yeah. on purpose yeah, yeah. Uh, dicevamo se vuoi suonare in metà o metà o si dimentica un po' di parole apposta no you know what happening for Italian people that want to sing in English that we try to uh, speak in English as better as we can but sometimes when we um, sing a, an English song we have a lot of difficult sure. to express uh, English very well so yeah. sometimes you can you can listen Italian people sing like na 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 yeah, yeah. and invented some words you know hey it's okay we it. effort, yeah, it's, yeah. Americans do it too because we figured out our own language words. So, you know, like, yeah, maybe it was the PA. You know? It was the PA, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. E magari era, era l'impianto che non si sentiva yeah. bene. No, dicevo che a volte yeah, capita anche. Is this anche... thing working? Is the mic working? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Capita anche noi italiani a volte di... <laughs> yeah. con le canzoni in inglese. <laughs> Sound engineer's fault. Right, <laughs> okay. totally. È colpa del fonico. No, yeah. scherziamo, scherziamo. Allora, il prossimo pezzo, sempre qui ad Around Love Sick Duo, per chi non sapesse. E si fosse collegato adesso, Scott Mulhale from Nashville, but really from Houston, right? Originally, Houston, Originally. Texas. Yeah. Quindi da, da, Texas Nashville, da Nashville, ma, uh, ma lui è nato oh, a Houston. Oh, Francesca, do you have the bow? Do you have a bow? Uh, no, no I, I, oh. borrow, I, I okay. rented. Okay. Come si dice? No, no, yeah. no, prestato. I rented. I, I'll, uh, yeah, so, someone borrowed the bow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm no, no sorry. That's okay. It's okay. okay. You, want to, you can do it with something uh, else. Yeah, no? I'll do it. I'll there's, do. A, there's a vi- there's a. Non all'archetto, non all'archetto. I have a yeah, yeah, I've got one. Abbiamo uno del Fiorino. Come on, come on. All right, uh, 20, 20, vision. vision. Doctor, he said I'm alright, but I know he's lying. I'm losing my sight. He should have examined the eyes of my mind. Twenty twenty vision, and I'm walking around blind. me I feel so alone I carry a heart that is heavy as stone I knew she cheated I knew all the time 2020 vision and I'm walking around blind wide open I lay in my bed If it wasn't for dying I don't wish I was dead But this is my punishment Death is too kind The 2020 vision And I'm walking around blind Just couldn't know her the way that I do They say she's wicked, maybe it's true But one thing I do know is she's no longer mine 2020 vision and I'm walking around blind 
dancing and I'm walking around blind. Yes, I'm walking. Round blind. All right, man. <laughs> Andiamo a casa? Andiamo, yeah. andiamo a letto? Scott is in the house. <laughs> All right. Thank Abbiamo you. Scott. Fantastico, wow. bravissimo. 2020 Vision. Abbiamo iniziato bene questo settembre. Sì, eh? è una buona, una buona ripartenza. It's yeah. a very good restart of this, uh, for us. All right, great. It's yeah. great. Yeah. 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 Good, yeah, good vibe, good yeah. vibe. Thank you, thank you so yeah. much. Oh, thank you, guys. Yeah. Fun. And uh, se voi volete vedere un po' di video di Scott, andate sul suo sito. The website is Scott Mulvahill. ScottMulvahill.com. Uh, sì, yeah. yeah, and fo- Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, no, for the video you have uh, some video on... on uh, a lot of... Yeah, yeah. YouTube, and, YouTube. Um, and my website. All right, I got a question for you. Hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're, ver- you're very active on Instagram and, uh, and social network. I love it. Yes, yeah. Uh, you're doing <laughs> maybe, a lot of... Uh, maybe too active. Uh, too active? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, no, uh, I'm making coffee. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. he made a wall. You didn't know. Oh, no, he made a wall. wall. I made a wall. wall. It's awesome. Wow. It's, yeah. Uh, I mean... It's decorative, you know. Yes, I, I, in your house. Yeah. Or maybe in a house, oh, not okay. outside. È molto it's attivo su Instagram e legge anche forse un po' troppo ogni tanto e ha fatto un muro, però yeah. dice decorativo, però è una tua casa, questo è quello che stanno dicendo. So my question is give us like three or five if you want tips oh. on who to follow Ooh. on uh, Instagram. Like something interesting follow. that you you say, "Oh, that's cool, man." Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, Scott is the first one, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that doesn't count. Paolo? Yeah, yeah <laughs> you, can make, you can make your own judgment. Uh, um, yeah, sure. Um, but, uh, yeah. The, Dacci tre o cinque, quanti di voi, insomma, dritte, consigli su chi seguire su Instagram, che interessante, dice. So, the, I like to follow, the people I follow are, um, are funny, like, like <laughs> you know, it's, it's like, or it's people I know, I try to use it, it's mostly people I know, but, okay. like, Like there's a songwriter, a friend of mine in Nashville named John McLaughlin, who's yeah. who's just funny. Like and, and he's like he's like a dry funny, which so I don't know for Italians if it would like be funny to them. Okay. Like it's like but it's like he's a great songwriter, so great singer and songwriter and, and This is a musician, it's not a, a, a stand up comedy. No, 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 no. He's a piano player. It's okay. amazing. Amazing piano player and a uh, great writer and singer. Um and he's well known in the United States. Like he's a good He's a he's a professional artist, you know. Um um and uh but he's he's just funny. Like he'll he'll do these like cooking shows with his like four year old <laughs> daughter. Or so okay. she'll be up on the counter and like and he's trying to cook and like do and she's just like sabotaging everything, you know, and it's like but it's but he's so but he's like serious while he's doing it. Yes. Like and it's n- he's not serious but he's acting serious and it's just like He's just funny. I, so John McLaughlin. John, John McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Yeah. It's a jazz player. Right? There's a different John McLaughlin. Ah, okay. Yes, this is, um, so there's a guitar player. Ah, yeah. But this is, he's a totally different guy. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, allora dice uh, che c'è questo, questo ragazzo, gli piace la roba un po' divertente, musicisti. Quindi dice, c'è questo ragazzo che suona il piano, che praticamente fa dei video, uh, yeah, mentre figlia. cucina con sua figlia, yeah, che fa dei yeah. gran casini. It's, it's, un po di it's goofy. Colori. And then he'll play, and he's <laughs> amazing too. E poi suona yeah. e spacca, yeah. bravissimo. Yeah. And then? Um, let's this see. counts as one. Yeah. That's one. Uh, you know, I've um, I've enjoyed. 
Like, I feel like Instagram exists to show me John Mayer videos. Like, every, every time. <laughs> really? Every time I log on, every time. It, There's a John Mayer John Mayer. It, no matter what. Like, okay. I can't. I guarantee you if I log into Instagram right now, it will show me a John Mayer. A John Mayer. Like, <laughs> like, I don't know if he paid them off. But the thing is, that he's really funny, and obviously, he's he's interesting and funny. John Mayer, yeah. I can imagine him at home with a, you know what, I'm going to show like, Scott this. Yes, yeah, now. like, what do I have for Scott today? <laughs> no, he's he's everywhere, but, so, he's a kind of an obvious choice, but he's he's really funny, like, and obviously a great musician. Yeah. Uh, okay. But, but dici che, dice che, secondo lui, Instagram, non so perché, con lui, almeno con il suo account, se, se entra ogni volta c'è un video di John Mayer. Ah, in qualche ma a me succede con Giovanotti. Con Giovanotti? Sì, yeah. tutte le volte che Ma adesso che ultimamente c'è Giova Beach, quindi... Sì, ma eh, sempre, lì. sempre. Sì. Oh, sì. Right. That happens also with other artists, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, who else to follow? Uh, that, that counts as two... Cats? Yeah, kind of. cat, cat. Are you okay. a cat guy? Not really. Because uh, if, not you, really. if you if you if you I I follow just she's a, one she's account a account yeah. on Instagram okay. of cats like uh, they draw the uh, the line outside a photo of a cat like a cat oh, yeah pose. the edges right and just so the the, edges and so you see the edges and then you scroll and you the, see the you real swipe. photo of the cat and it's like very, it's funny, very funny, in a funny crazy but position. but after that <laughs> I always see cats. Yeah. Everywhere, of course. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing. I think if you click on one thing, it decides Instagram. It you know it decides that you like that thing, and sure. so it's going to show you over and over. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, allora, um, diceva diceva lei che c'è questa pagina di gatti che fanno il contorno del gatto, e poi tu tu scorri e vedi una foto un po'. La foto fuori, reale che, da cui è stata presa ispirazione. Però c'è tipo sempre dei gatti in posizioni assurde. Da quando ho cliccato, vedi solo segui, gatti. vedo solo dei gatti. I think the worst one is um, Amazon. Like every if you look I don't know like fork like you're oh. going to see fork for a month like it's even if you look for 12 seconds I think and I think it's like I literally I think our phones listen to us like you just said the word fork yeah. I'm going to see I'm probably going to see forks on okay. my, on dice my... Amazon per me è il peggiore yeah. cioè tu guardi non so 10 secondi forchette e vedi forchette per 6 mesi praticamente in ogni angolo Tampax <laughs> Tampax oh. e lui oh. dice probabilmente sono i telefoni che <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> I telefoni che ascoltano, allora adesso vedrò yeah. forchette. Like you when you come back, every time I log on. <laughs> um, uh, you you got to see Tampax now, exactly, man. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> This is the test, because otherwise it wouldn't serve Tampax yeah. to me. Um, um, sure? Here's a, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> Not after the operation, oh, that's a joke. Um, uh, no. So, um, so <laughs> okay. um, uh, <laughs> one more person to follow uh, is yeah. uh, Corey Wong. Do you know guitar player? Uh, Corey? Uh, Corey Wong. Wong. Um, yeah, he's... A China one? China. Well, he's American, but it's a Chinese name, oh, I yeah. guess. Uh, Corey Wong. Uh, Guitarist, and, dice da seguire um, ancora. And he is so... He's such a great player, but he's also really funny and really, um, like... Um, he's just... A, he's a good performer. Like, yeah. it, and, and so whenever he's posting things, it's usually, like... He'll, like, edit the videos really... F kind of retro and funny and they're, okay. they're, they're you just have to go see Corey Wong okay. Corey Wong dice che è molto Wong, molto yeah. bravo ma quando edita i video li fa tipo in un mood molto molto vecchio stile e fa è super bello and the last one or not the least one uh -huh. Sure. Oh, Love Sick Duos. Sure. Love Sick Duos. Yeah. Of course. Sure. Of course. Of course. <laughs> All right. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Facebook. Uh, on YouTube. Um, sì. Love Sick Duos. Trovateci anche noi. Trovate anche Scott Mulvahill. Se dopo vi mettiamo tutti i link uh, del suo sito e le sue pagine. So, le, let me do this in English and in Italian. So, you're going to find this as a podcast, if you want, on every podcast host, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Great. And, um... And uh, you're gonna find it on YouTube uh, as a in the post production. So what else? Uh, I want to read the comments. A couple, a couple, a couple of uh, things that we had to say. Next Friday is gonna um, uh, a new single of us is gonna come out. Cool. And uh, it's a song we wrote for a biker festival. Okay. So it's a really rock and roll song. It's called Wild Days. Amazing. And uh, so next Friday is gonna come out, and uh, the festival is uh, September the 20th, 21st, and 22nd. We, we're gonna play the 21st as a trio with a drummer. 
So, quindi il venerdì prossimo uscirà un nostro nuovo singolo che si chiama Wildest, è un pezzo che abbiamo uscito per un uh, festival di bikers. E sarà a Parma, a, Ver- a, Ver- a Varano Melegari dal 20 al 22. Al 22, noi siamo il 21 con Gianluca Resi alla batteria. E il brano uscirà la prossima settimana venerdì su Spotify. Quindi andate e a cercare Apple Music. Apple Music e tutti gli altri store e lo potete trovare. Sorry. Ok, e poi we read comments. Leggiamo i commenti. Yes, there are comments? <laughs> yes. Stefano Ilari, bien a vous, baci, kiss. I don't know. She's a. You know what's really funny about Fra reading comments sometimes? Because uh-huh. sometimes people say like stupid jokes or whatever, but she started reading anyway. She finds out like when she already <laughs> said joke, something yeah, like yeah. that she's uh, not supposed to. So Ryan Tiger put a cat. Okay. Ah, Love it. Okay. And Jesse in uh, Swisher, thank you, duo, for having him. It's awesome. Uh, Janice uh, Scott said, Scott is amazing talent. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, hello, you're great. And then, um, very nice. Scott is awesome. So, Scott, uh, what a great way to wake up on Sunday. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's great. Rick, yeah, what, what time is it in the US? What time like is it in the US? Seven, probably. Six. <laughs> Rick Dillman, yo, Scott, killing. Presto in America. As usual. Oh, man. And uh, Giovanni Stefanini ask you if you know Eric Frey. 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 Eric Frey. Yeah. Boy, that looks familiar. I'm not sure. I'm not. Is it in Nashville? I don't know. Uh, wh- what's her name? Uh, G- Eric Frey. And the and the person who asked the question is uh, Giovanni Stefania, the mandolin uh, player, that uh, asked you oh, for uh, the oh, chewing okay. gum. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. is, that, is that is Eric in Nashville? Uh, if you comment, um, maybe we can figure it out. But I'm not. It doesn't ring a. Er, it rings a bell. Like okay. maybe I've heard the name, but. Um, Dice I don't che know si Eric ricorda, well. ma non ti chiede Giovanni se se vive a Nashville questo Eric Frey o no. You want to jam a song? Aspetta, aspetta. There's a so cool, wow, awesome, uh, bravo, bellissimo, beautiful, bellissimo, bravo. Ah, cl- That's ah, the most important. Ah, ah, ho capito. <laughs> Eric Frey <laughs> is the double bass player from Nashville. Is a is the um, not wife, uh, the male, come si dice, the husband. husband of uh, Clelia Stefanini. Clelia, okay. you know Clelia? Mm-hmm. She's a violinist player. She worked for uh, some years at the violinist um, shops in Nashville oh, okay, and okay. his husband is a double There's bass a, player double fl- okay see I think I heard their names yeah it's a small town but I, I don't know them well but um, okay. but it rings a bell okay yeah. dice che forse lo conosce ma mm, perché la città è picca sì, right. sì, ce l'ho fatta sì. grande bravissima allora per finire la trasmissione eh, facciamo un pezzo così yeah, it's jam song jam, jam song. Con, allora io ho una chitarra che, che, s- che Scott ha comprato qui in Italia <ride> Pistoia la vendiamo for, uh, for uh, how much? It uh, 60 euro no <laughs> more and then oh the oh, pre- oh, oh that's what I that's, that's what I paid uh, for she it, said yeah. no she said she's wanna, she, she wants to sell it yeah. so for how much like yeah uh, 100 euro 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 <laughs> yeah sure scriveteci <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, no I really bought it at a shop for like 60 <laughs> 60 euro Maxine. la suona la fra la suona la fra Maxine. si chiama Maxine yeah, la chitarra <laughs> what, how do you say this guitar is a piece of garbage no questa no, chitarra no, è un pezzo di spazzatura è spazzatura spazzatura garbage Sandra, I love your music and your write of many songs. So you most recently in the realm and with Lauren Dale, oh, also yes. with the Rodeo and Juliet. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Sandra. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. All right, in. let's do it. What, got, what, what are we going to play? Uh, this is the Rocky Road Blues uh, by Bill Monroe. All right. Um, do you want the tuner? Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. it's beautiful, this guitar, but you know. It's, yeah, it's an amazing cool. instrument. It's, uh, it's an amazing instrument. It's a bellissimo instrument, this guitar. It's a terrible instrument. Ma tra l'altro è per bambini, è piccolissima. No, ma poi ieri l'ha suonata a Firenze in una piazza con un cantante ubriaco per strada. Sì, alle 4 del mattino ci ha raccontato un po' di storie. We tell to the people, we tell to the people that you play yesterday night. Yeah, in a square, in Florida, 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 Florida. Yeah. yeah, with with uh, with the with whoever the yeah. street. Yeah. You got the real uh, experience. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was I wouldn't trade it for anything. That was great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I was here for two days by myself without like knowing it. I you know before yeah. I met up with anybody, and so I was just honestly like I was a little lonely and kind of like. It sounds bad, but I was like a little bored and lonely. I was just like, I don't know anybody here. I don't yeah, know the sure. language. So I was just like, I need a guitar, like just to play. Totally. I, I understand and that. Dice che era da solo qui, era da solo, e quindi si sentiva un po' da solo, così ha detto, ho bisogno di condividere. Non sapendo la lingua, ha preso una chitarra. Ha preso una chitarra. Italy is wonderful. Like, I've, I've, 
it's I've been loving it here too. So like at the first couple of days, I kind of like got out of the place I was in, and it's been. Dice che ama l'Italia. I primi giorni dovevo un po' capire dove andare, cosa fare. Poi dopo si è ambientato subito. All right, let's play. It. Oh, I had to tune. Sorry. Okay. Don't worry. Oh, sorry. I can tell a joke too. Tell a joke, yeah. <laughs> tell him a joke. Tell him a joke. Hurry, go. Tell him. <laughs> All right. Ah. So this is a un pezzo che cantava Bill Monroe. Uh this is called Rocky Road. Rocky Road Blues. Rocky Road Blues. All right. All right. Well, the road is rocky, but it won't be rocky long. Oh, the road is rocky, but it won't be rocky for long Another man has got my woman and gone Well, I got them blues and I'm wearing out the soles of my shoes I got them old blues and I'm wearing out the soles of my shoes My gal ran away and left me, she left me with a dog on the blues But it won't be rocky long Oh, the road is rocky But it won't be rocky long Ain't nothing man Has got my woman and gone oh. Oh, the road is rocky, but it won't be rocky long. And another man has got my woman and gone. Take it again. Scott Mova, thank you, thank you very much for coming thank you so here. Much, so much fun, guys. It's great. You. Thank you. Amazing. Grazie anche a voi per aver seguito la diretta. Diffondetela, uh, likeatela, fate quello che yeah, volete. Yeah, share commentate. the live stream and, and uh, like, condividete la diretta. Thank you very much for staying with us. And uh, follow uh, scottmovail.com if you yep. want to listen some music, or buy some CD, right? Yeah, CD, vin- I have vinyl records. Ooh. Oh, old school. Oh. We do like that. All right. Okay. Thank Grazie you. A tutti Happy Sunday, everyone. Take care. Ciao.
Buona domenica.